Hi everybody and welcome to the TensorFlow Developer Summit. We're right here in the TensorFlow Cafe and I'm chatting with Sandeep, who's a product manager on TensorFlow itself. And Sandeep, thanks for coming. Thank you, Lawrence. Really, really excited to be here. Are you enjoying the summit so far? Oh, this has been incredibly exciting. I mean, I think, you know, to see all the people, the users that we have here who are turned out here in person, uh, to listen to their stories, what they're doing, uh, see all the cool work, see the interest and the, and the following of TensorFlow, and not just here in the room, but with all of our, you know, live stream viewers and the global viewing parties and all that, it's, it's been really, really good to see all this, and it's very motivating. It, like, this is a product that you're working on, yes. and just the sheer excitement that's yes. out there about it. Yes. It's like, yeah. Yeah. It's the, the, the ideas, the creativity, I think it's just, just amazing where we are yeah. uh, in the field of machine learning as a whole, <laughs> and the role that TensorFlow is playing in that. In Som the, sometimes I just have to pinch myself, right? Yes, yes, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So one of the things we saw in the keynote was just how quickly TensorFlow is growing and the trajectory that it's yeah. on. And, was that what you expected? Uh, no, I don't think. I don't think any of us expected that or anticipated that, right? I think it's been, it's, uh, you know, the way machine learning is sort of transitioning in the society right now from not just playing a role in research and sort of very advanced scientific discovery type of things, but beginning to make a difference in so many different areas. And I'm, I think we're seeing that in our, in our user community, right? Uh, it's, um, the, the, just the, the explosive growth and the number of people. And I think it's a testament to the, this incredibly powerful platform that our engineering teams have built, which is uh, you know, so flexible and can address these really, really fundamental problems. And then our focus in making it easier to use and opening up a lot of new applications. And then how the community has also gotten involved and like just checked so much stuff in and contributed so much stuff. That's in. been a big part of it, and I think that has that has really helped with our partners, with our collaborators, and how they have contributed and helped sort of open up doors to a lot of applications that we wouldn't have thought about ourselves. So yeah, I think it's it's just it's just a great place to be at the at this time. Yes. And, and some of the scenarios that we've seen, right? It's just like it's 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 awe inspiring, like finding planets. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the cassava story we saw earlier today, right? I mean, I think just all these all these applications that touching upon all aspects of human life. Uh, I think it's just uh, that's that's the best part about this. I think. Sure, it's it, it's a beautiful thing. So you know, when we're seeing this trajectory of growth and like you know. But now, just to pivot to the future a little bit, like you know, from a developer perspective, it's I find it's just really beautiful to see new programming languages in there. Right? Yes, yes, yeah, and that has been a big uh, sort of focus for us to make the platform uh, be supported on in languages and in environments that that our users are at. And so today we announced uh, support for Swift. In fact, the talk by Chris, Chris Latner is later today. Yeah. Uh, and JavaScript, I mean, I'm super excited about that yeah. because you know, JavaScript, as we know, is the number one language programming language uh, with a huge web developer community that's out there. Traditionally, you know, what we have seen is that machine learning has been sort of a little bit more in the in the Python world and so on. I think this opens up the doors for all of the web developers to try to you know, just easily incorporate machine learning into their applications. They can use all kinds of uh, sensors that are very well connected into the browser world and develop some really nice interactive things. And we have some amazing demos here that, are, that, that uh, users are seeing. Have you and seen the Pac-Man demo? Oh, Pac-Man is fun. I can't, I can't wait to get home and try it and, and <laughs> for, beat for my son with it. Yes, exactly, yeah, yes. I yes. can probably go faster like that than yeah. I can with a joystick. Yes. So. Yeah. And this is all done in JavaScript. Okay. That's right, exactly. So I think what JavaScript will allow us to do really is that uh, one sort of, it, it works in the browser. And uh, it sort of uh, th there's really nothing, you know, no heavy-duty installations or anything like that. Right. It's very quick and uh, to get something up and running. Uh, we can take previously trained models, and with the type of converters that we are making available through this library, right. it's going to be very easy to bring in um, uh, models that have been previously trained on other data and then retrain them and then apply them to your applications. And as in addition to that, you can also train in the browser rather That's, than taking yes, a model as yes, training Yes, exactly, else, yes, which is, yes. Which is just mind-blowing. So, right? Yes, so it is, it is, yeah, it is a full-fledged training environment and you can build very cool interactive applications uh, by doing this, yes. I, I remember my very first JavaScript program was like to put an alert box when somebody used the right mouse button. Okay, <laughs> yes, yes. I yeah. think we've all written one of them. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. now to think that that language can be used not just for training, but also for inference. It's the, yes, yes, yes. And the other thing you can do is, I mean, um, uh, there is this um, uh, deep learning playground, which is available on the Learn with Google site. Okay. And uh, that's another way that JavaScript allows you to sort of visualize these things in a, such an interactive way that I think it will drive our ability to understand these models and really sort of iterate faster. 
and come up with working solutions. So if you don't want to learn Python and you're already a JavaScript developer, you know, just thinking about it from a career perspective, that your JavaScript skills have taken on a whole new meaning. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so start. So if I am a JavaScript developer and I want to take advantage of this, yes. how, what would you recommend to get started? You mentioned that playground? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So I think you know, there are a lot of resources available. So specifically for JavaScript, uh, what we are launching today is a new website, js.tensorflow.org. js.tensorflow.org. And that website has a very nice getting started section, which has some step-by-step -step tutorials that it walks you through, and some quick examples of some curve fitting and regression and uh, image classification that you can get up and running in your browser. Uh, so that's an excellent way to start. Um, uh, and I think uh, as we go forward, we will sort of continuously make more and more of these types of applications that people want to do and make them available in this, in this platform. Is Pac-Man going to be there? Pac-Man demo is already there, actually. So you can, you can clone that, and you can sort of mess around with it, maybe get two people to simultaneously drive it. So you can do some very fun things. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of an April Fool's prank where I train the left arrow to be right and the up arrow to be down yeah. and see if I can get people to beat Pac-Man. Yeah, that'll be fun. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Just everybody here. You're the only ones who know. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sandy. Learn so much from this, as I always do when I chat with you. So really, really appreciate it. And enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Lawrence. It was awesome chatting with you. And thanks, everybody, for watching this episode. I'm Lawrence Moroni. I've had Sandeep Gupta with me. If you have any questions for me, or if you have any questions for Sandeep, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll put links to what we spoke about in the description for this video. So thank you, everybody.